I wanted to show you how to make a customized iPhone case. And uh, I know that I've seen iPhone cases that have cartoons on them and things like that. And I always thought it would be nice to have something that's a little more suited to me, like pictures of my kids or a Bible verse or something. So let's get started. It's super easy to do. All of my tutorials are so easy and I've got other ones on my channel that show you how to paint and stuff if you wanna check out those too, but, but that's a little off topic. So what I've done is I went to the store today and I picked up this iPhone case and uh, I'm not really used to taking it off and on yet, but it's really cool. It's gel, uh, so it's really soft and it just slips right onto the phone. So what you're gonna do to get started is you take your phone, I've got an iPhone 5, you can get them in different sizes, and you're gonna trace it onto a piece of paper. Let's give it a good trace here. Now you can create art on your own, or you can do it digital art, you can do painting, you can use family photos, whatever you like to do. So I've drawn this, and what I'm gonna do is put my artwork on here, and then I'm gonna cut it out. So just like you see on like the Rachel Ray show when they're cooking something in the oven, I've already prepared my artwork for you. There it is. And as you can see, I've gone over the edges here. So now I'm gonna cut out. It's a lot easier to, cut, to uh, paint it first and then cut it out after. Otherwise I'm gonna have to stick into the boundaries and, and uh, this is just so much easier. So cut it out and uh, make sure that you don't cut it too big or it's not going to fit into the iPhone case. You want to at least have it exactly on the line or a little bit inside of the line. So, yeah, I haven't, I'm not used to cutting papers. I haven't done this since I was a little kid. I'm not much of a cutter. So here we go. Hope I can cut straight. Yeah, not doing too bad actually. So here we go. I mentioned in my other tutorials that I have essential tremor. So my hands shake a bit when I'm doing these, but that's okay. And I'm trying to stick right on the lines. There we go. Ooh, it's looking pretty already. I just drew this freehand but you might want to use some clip art if you have that and just uh, whatever, whatever it is that you can do and uh, just get some artwork that you like and do that, cut it. Now, I'm gonna put it in here and ooh, it's a little bit too tight I can see in the length. So what I'm gonna do is just grab this at the bottom and trim it a little bit more. I think it was that corner over there actually. I didn't do too good on there, but little bit more it's always hard to trim off a tiny bit and make it look nice but I think that the the plastic case is going to give this a nice shine and it's going to make it look really pretty so let's see if it'll go in there yet you know what it snaps in there it's really tight I think that'll be a perfect fit so what we have now is this I'm using my hand to just hold it in place I've got this little hole that I'm gonna have to cut out for the camera. So there I go, marking my spot. I've got an X-Acto knife here. I've actually never used an X-Acto knife like this before. So we'll see how good I can do this. I'll be right back, I'm gonna get something to cut on. Now, if you're doing these with kids, make sure that obviously they're not going to be using this exacto knife because this looks like it's dangerous. I'm not really great with an exacto knife. I'm sure my husband could do this for me much better than I can. But, 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 I've never used one. I've always thought these things look so easy, you know? Maybe they're putting cardboard under them. I don't know. But it's sure not as easy as it looks. 
So I'm just going to stop the video and I'm going to cut this out because I'm wasting so much time cutting and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so I'm back. I cut it out with the X-Acto knife. It took me about five minutes to do that because I want to do it nice. I'm going to see if I can erase my pencil lines. I'm doing it gently because I've got my paint around there. Erasing some lines. And I cleaned it up a bit too, the little hole with the X-Acto knife because it had some rough edges. So now I'm going to put it back in there. Snap it into place. My iPhone. Snap it into place. Put the bottom in first. It's a little bit tricky. It's kind of soft and gel, but I love it. So here's what it looks like. There's my customized iPhone cover. Thanks for joining me and check out my other tutorials. Bye-bye.